Game five of the preseason is in the books for the Toronto Maple Leafs, and we are getting that much closer to the season beginning. Now, a lot of people are distracted tonight, including myself, in the Seattle-Texas game, and I will be very, 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 very shortly, I promise, I will already have a video uploaded. Uh, I have a clinched video for the Blue Jays, so we'll be talking about that very shortly. But let's quickly break down this preseason game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Not a lot of the main guys were in the lineup today. Uh, a lot of the young young fellas out there, and they looked pretty damn good. Look, the Matthew Nyes Fraser Minton connection looks kind of good. I know it's preseason, doesn't mean squat, but the fact that your three goals today were Matthew Nyes, Fraser Minton, and Nick Robertson for Leaf fans, that's very ple- very esle- eth- eth- esle- eth- mm. aesthetically pleasing. I think I got that one right. I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of Trailer Park Boys, so my words are all over the place. Anyways, this is how it went down. First period, Fraser Minton. Great puck possession and control in the in the offensive corner. Finds Matthew Nyes in the middle of the ice. And Matthew Nyes, well, he wasn't really in the middle of the ice. He was kind of beside the net. Goes around the back of the net and wrapped around. Beats the goaltender Sam Montembeau. And the Leafs got a 1-0 lead. Matthew Nyes with the second goal of the preseason. Alex Steves and Fraser Minton grab the assists on the goal. And the Leafs drop 1-0 in the first period. That is how the first period closes. And the shots on goal in the first period were 14-5 in favor of Montreal. But Martin Jones stood tall. We go to the second period. And the Leafs on a power play. And the Leafs somehow get some, a wide-open mini 2-1-0. With Alex Steve, was it Nick Abrazizi or uh, Alex Steves who passed it over to Fraser Minton? He wires it past Sam Montembeau. Really nice shot from Fraser Minton. Again, love what I saw from these guys tonight. Power play goal at 10 33 in the second period. Steves and Abrazizi get the assist on the goal, and you're out. Leafs are up 2 0. Late in the period, puck comes out of the, uh, uh, of the Leafs' end as a penalty expires. We saw Max Domi score one of those a few days ago. This time, Nick Robertson picks it up just outside the blue line because he came out of the box and comes right down on Sam Montebo and had a defender all over him, but protected the puck on the backhand, pulled the forehand and fired it. Was it low blocker? Or is, is, is hold on a minute, Sam Montebo? I don't even know. Anyways, far side low blocker, I'm going to say. And he beats him. What a beautiful shot from Nick Robertson with 13 seconds left in the second period. Uh, Refi, I think I say pronounce his name, was the guy who got the lone assist on that goal. And the Leafs are up 3-0 after two periods of play. Shots and goal were 10-9 in favor of the Leafs in the second. In the third, Caden Gooley scores a shorthanded goal about midway through to make it 3-1. But that's all she wrote. Shots and goal for the period were 11-7 in favor of Montreal and 34-22 for the game. But you look at, like, who are the main guys for the Leafs that were in the lineup today? I just want to get an idea of that. Uh, I'm going on the list. Uh, Jake McCabe, TJ Brody, Morgan Riley. That's it. Montreal, who'd they have today? Newhook, Gooley, Suzuki, Kirby Duck, Cole Caulfield, Reinbacher, their new guy, Slatkovsky. Uh, so they didn't have many guys, but they had some of the, some of their main dudes out there. And again, doesn't mean anything. It's preseason. But it's nice to see the fellas get a W. And another thing to kind of keep your eye on in the preseason portion of the schedule is the goaltending. Because Martin Jones looks really good today. One goal on 34 shots. Impressive stuff. I get it's preseason. And with Joseph Wall having a two-way contract and you can send him up and down... Don't be surprised if Joseph Wall starts with the year with the Marlies and you have Martin Jones and Ilya Samsonov as your 1-2 to start the season or 1A, 1B or however however they want to work it. Do not be surprised if that's the case because Martin Jones, let me just check his game logs. Uh, Against Ottawa on the 25th, he allowed one goal on 17 shots and he allowed one goal on 34 shots today. He's been good. I know it's preseason and it really doesn't mean anything because you go out there in his first outing and get lit up and it's just like, oh, there goes that. But you like what you're seeing. A veteran guy, right? 33 years of age, not going to go out there and play 50, 60 games this year, but a guy that can play 30, 35 games, whatever Samsonov needs, 
right? Barring any injury and you have Joseph Wall right there. If you need him, you know, he just needs to find a way to stay healthy and get some consistent, you know, time in the net. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens here. I really think Martin Jones is, is going to get some runway here. And I will not be surprised if he makes the team out of camp with Ilya Samsonov. That's that's what I think is going to happen. But we'll see how the rest of the preseason progresses. All right. Key players in the hockey game. Fraser Minton, a goal and an assist in the game. Nick Robertson, a goal in the game. Matthew Nyes with a goal. Alex Steves with a couple assists. Just great day for the young fellas. You love what you saw there from them. The next game for the Toronto Maple Leafs is on Monday as they're uh, back at home. Taking on the same Montreal Canadiens for the third straight damn time. Um, who's going to be a net there? I'm going to guess Joseph Wall. I don't think we've seen him since the first preseason game. So I think they want, probably want to get him in there more unless they go back to Ilya Samsonov, who's only had the one start. So we'll see what happens there, but it's a 7 o'clock puck drop there on Monday night for game 6 of 8 of the preseason. Let's just keep this thing rolling and get through it, all right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you enjoyed the video and the preseason dub and watching Matthew Nyes and... and you know, watching him and Fraser Minton, the, the connection they got going on. Hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button. You guys not already. Comment down below. Your thoughts on the video. Thoughts of the game. Would you like? Would you not like from today's game for the Toronto Maple Leafs? What do you think of the Nyes Minton connection? What are your early thoughts on Martin Jones? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, all right? So, I will talk to you guys. Jay's edition, well, very shortly. Clinch edition. And tomorrow, Jay's edition, in the finale, game 162, you're going to see some guys getting some rest you're probably going to see Bowden Francis get the start that's my take at least um so we'll see how that goes but really it really doesn't mean anything albeit if Houston won today correct let me just quickly make sure that they were up one nothing when I looked uh they won one nothing so with that being the case if the Jays win they'll, they're going to Tampa if they lose and Houston wins you go to Minnesota so that's what's going on tomorrow. Uh, the Jays got to go out there and make sure they're rested and ready to go for Tuesday, no matter who you're playing. All right? So that's the, that's the first pitch tomorrow at 3.07. And as for the Toronto Maple Leafs, like we talked about, they're back in action on Monday night, 7 o'clock puck drop. Leafs, Habs, at Scotiabank Arena. Eh, is it? Is this one actually at Scotiabank Arena? We're not uh, We're not anywhere else because I know we were, <laughs> they were in... Um, oh, God. Not Perry Sound, not Sarnia. Down down that general not not Perry Sound. Not, not Sarnia. Down down around that area. Damn, I can't remember where it was. You guys can let me know in the comments. But this one is actually gonna be at Scotiabank Arena on Monday night between the Leafs and Habs. Seven o'clock puck drop there. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh hey, another preseason dub. We'll talk to you guys then.